Welcome everyone, it's Ryan Vol here, and we are going to play Surviving Mars. Uh, this is a brand new game for me, and so that will be the first time for me, and we're going to start with a new game. So, I think our mission sponsor will stay with International Mars mission. We'll start with the easiest one. As for our uh, commander profile, it says here it unlocks the CO2 jet propulsion and also gives us an extra rocket. We don't really need an extra rocket. Whereas the hydro engineers start with a water deposit revealed, dome conceal consumes 25% less water and the bonus tech is water reclamation uh, so i think we'll start with we'll do that one there as for our our logo uh, let's see what do we like <clears throat> Mars expression, the voyage and of the sand. Let's go with the final countdown. Mystery, uh, it doesn't really give you any information on the mystery so much. Uh, it tells you something, but it, like science is no more than an investigation of a miracle we can never explain, and art is an interpretation of that miracle. So that really doesn't tell you anything so we're just going to leave it as random <clears throat> so we start off with four rockets if we did a rocket engineer we'd have five but i don't think we need five uh we have thirty thousand million or 30 billion or we could call it thirty thousand mars bucks uh research per soul is 300 per day or per soul uh, and so is one day, 25 hours, roughly 24 and a half hours. Rare metal price, 25 million. Starting applicants, 200. And so I guess 200 people are going to join. Uh, large rocket payloads, 70,000 kilograms. Colonists never get earth sick. Food supply from passenger rockets increased 10 times. Rockets synthesize fuel. Uh, start with a water de deposit reveal. Don't consume 25% less water. Bonus deck is our water reclamation. Unlocks a spire, which reduces water consumption. All right, so I think we'll start with that. Uh, everything here. It should be good like our prefab buildings we can check it out so we have the drone hub uh, moisture for vaporator and uh, that picks up vapor from the atmosphere and two sterling generators and then we have an RC rover and RC Explorer and RC transport six drones uh, 15 polymers, 15 machine parts, 10 electronics, and four orbital probes. Uh, let's, let's go back. Uh, let's rename this. Anyone that knows me, I love the name RKC, so we'll call it. Nope, that's not what I want. Uh, okay, what happened there? Okay, so for some reason, this is not letting me do what I want. Uh, right now, I have something that came up on me on my screen.
So bear with me here. There we go. Call this Arcasius. So yeah, there we go. And now we can select the area. Or we can do a preset one. So this one's got a lot of concrete, good amount of meadows, and a lot of water. And the threats are relatively zero for uh, dust devils, dust storms, uh, there's a fair amount of meteors, eh, but cold waves is low too. Uh, then we got this here, which is rough, relatively flat here as well, and not as much concrete. The threats are better. Up here is relatively flat. We don't have a whole lot of water. Uh, let's see, is there any more? What other areas? Uh, lots of water, lots of concrete, not very much meadows. This here has got relatively good amount. If we go here, got lots of water. I'm trying to find a nice area that's going to have lots of water. rough area we want relatively flat but we want lots of water and we don't want a whole lot of there we go cold waves though Ooh, mean temperature minus 44 I think we'll go with this one here. Uh, the mean temperature is minus 15. It's not a whole lot of water, but it's, its threats are pretty low. So we'll start with that. All right, so everyone at Mars Control is impatient to see the rocket touch down and unloading its precious cargo. Our remote controlled eyes and hands on the red planet, and the drones and rovers. Our goal is to secure a foothold for humanity by building the first Martian dome. This daunting endeavor will allow the brave pioneers, the founders, to settle on Mars and prove that the colony is sustainable but until then we have to make sure the colony has enough construction resources water oxygen and power mission sponsor international mars mission commander profile hydroelectric engineer hydro engineer sorry uh, so we've got let's see here well, explore these areas. We've got two more. And we got some more stuff there. <clears throat> so we have, we have right here, I believe this is concrete deposits. We have concrete deposits here. And then we got a rare metal, underground metal. And we have water down here. Uh, so I think if we land, uh, how do you turn this? Middle. There we go. That should be a good spot to land. Mm -hmm. 
And our ship comes down here. Our little gear goes come out. So we have the three rovers that are coming out. And our drones, all of our little drones there. So we do right click, we'll get our first building and what we need it's production we need we want concrete so we'll do some concrete there and we need electricity so let's see if we can get some turbines. I think if you hold shift, and then uh, power cables. That should do it right there. <clears throat> so we'll speed it up a little bit here so they'll get it done faster. We don't need any more cables. Well, what we do need is some storage. So uh, we need a dumping site, which we'll put, I think we'll put it over here. shift here for that should be good for a dumping site for any of the crap we don't need uh, what do these need these need machine parts um, now we have machine parts, do we not? We have 10 machine parts. So I don't understand why it's taking a while to make machine parts. Oh, we need concrete as well. Okay. Um, so we'll get. What's this? Do this needs uh, basic resource Don't cost metal. I think we have metal. So if we put one there, and there we go. So three solar panels and three wind turbines. Should get us going. And I think this is, yeah, this will give us our, so we're minus five on power. We're short. Right now, mind you, we have no, it's still not daylight. It's nighttime at the moment. So we'll speed it up a little bit more here. And there our daytime starts. We have a surplus of 10. So we're able to start making concrete. So, if we 
do a storage. Let's do a universal storage depot right there. And now we're getting concrete for our wind turbines. <clears throat> so up here it says we have to select uh, technology to research. So we can do magnetic filtering, uh, moxie upgrade, oxygen production increased by 50%, uh, low G hydrosynthetics, this is polymer factor, really produces polymer from water and fuel, robotics generate 100 research per cell for each RC explorer vehicle, multiple vehicles result in collaboration losses, uh, new building subsurface heater increases the local temperature in cold areas and protects nearby buildings from cold waves. And then receive a grant. Well, we don't need the money right now, so let's let's research polymers and then our he heating afterwards to warm up the place. No. That's not what we want it close. And then it says select a sensor scanner. So uh, we'll scan that area. And we can scan up to four areas at a time. And that, that'll be good. So we got our areas scanning. We got one of the tur one turbines going now, so we're up to 16.4 surplus. And our concrete, we have a surplus of two right now. So I'm going to make another universal depot right there. And just cause I'm not sure if everything's out of this. Uh, actually everything is out of it, which is good. So I'll just go back to here. So now we got all three of our tur wind turbines going. And I'm going to just slow this down to medium speed. And I think I think that's pretty good. We're on sold de day number three now. And that was pretty good for our first three days. And I will see you guys in the next episode. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode.